good morning good morning good morning i'm back in here again and i'm um, very grateful to be alive very grateful to have the lord in my life very grateful for everything that he's doing and we thank you father we glorify you this day we surrender this day to you let your will be done upon our life on this day everything that you have for us this day father we let it go and we ask you that you bring it into our life lord we walk into the purpose your purpose for our life in this day and we surrender we surrender we surrender all of it i seal this channel i seal this word i seal Every word that comes out of my lips and every single one of them by the sound of my voice. I seal the ears. I seal their thoughts. I seal their minds. I seal their body. This word cannot be twisted. It will go straight into the life. It will go into the hearts, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let your word penetrate inside of us and be inside of us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you and I glorify him and him alone. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little bit um, of um, Ephesians, Ephesians uh, 6, um, 10. I'm going to go straight into what is the armor of God. And the armor of God, he says, is, is very uh, clear. And take, he says, above all, taking the shield of faith. What do we need to do? Say, stand therefore, having guard your ways with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shut your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit, but being watchful to this end with the perseverance and supplication for all saints. That is an Ephesians 6. Yeah, 14 to uh, 19. But the, the whole um, verse is the whole armor of God is from the 10 to the 19 or Ephesians 6. From the 10 to the 19. Um and, and what I'm going to do today, I, I'm going to go into every single one of the pieces of the armor of God so we really understand what is this about. It says, I'm going to go today and I'm going to speak about the shield of faith. And it says, the shield of faith, the shield is a defensive weapon. What is the shield? A defensive weapon was usually carried on the left arm and was used to protect the entire body of the soldier, the shield of faith. The surface was kept right, right with oil. That's what I said. The shield of faith anointed with the oil of your Holy Spirit, Lord. And it says, which reflect the sun to blind the enemy. So that oil not only protects us, but it blinds the enemy. It helped deflect the enemy's blows any dart of the enemy. And it says application. It says a shield represents protection and security. Our shield of faith works in cooperation with other pieces of armor to quench the fear of darts of doubt. So when we put on the shield of faith, what do we quench? The, sh the doubt. We quench doubt and unbelief out of our minds. We just don't receive it. We cast it out and we need to renounce to those to the spirit because they come to really target our minds. So we don't believe in the word of God. We don't believe in the prophecies that they had taught us. We don't believe in the things that we have heard from the Lord that he spoke to our hearts. So we have to be very careful. It says a shield represents protection and security. Our shield of faith works in cooperation with other pieces of armor to quench the fear darts of doubt fear and unbelief and to blind the enemy so it is important to put on the shield of faith anointed with the oil of your holy spirit the mind and the will control its movement so not only our body but the mind and the will it says, faith is simply believing, accepting, approaching what God has said. Faith requires a total trust. What do it require? Faith requires a total trust in the Lord. So 
if you have been betrayal, if you have been abused, if you have been rejected, if you have been abandoned, you have problems with, with trust because that is a trust issue. So we really need to open up a heart. And if somebody hurt us, hurt us, honey, we run to him. We run to him from healing. He healed us completely. So we cannot keep that inside your hearts. We need to surrender to the feet of the cross. And it says, faith requires a total trust in the Lord Jesus in all things. How and what things? In all things. We need to trust him with everything that we have. We have to let it go. We have to release it to him. We have to surrender to him in the name of Jesus. And he says, I'm going to do a declaration. And I want you to declare this with me because it's important when we speak out. It's important to do that and to do it aloud. And he says, Lord Jesus, you are my shield of faith. My self-nature have been crucified with you. Why? Because we need to do crucifixion. There is no other way of living for us. We have to be totally crucified in that cross. And we need to renounce to everything that used to attack us before. If we deal with rejection, we renounce to the spirit of rejection. If we deal with abandonment, we renounce to the spirit of abandonment. If we deal with abuse, I renounce to every abuse, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I renounce to every spirit of depression. I renounce to every spirit of Jezebel. I renounce to every spirit of doubt. I renounce to every spirit of retaliation i renounce whatever have attacked you that you have received that before that you have experienced that before that you have dealt with that before you have to renounce to that i renounce to doubt i renounce to the spirit of judgment i renounce whatever it is that you have deal with sickness loss sexual immorality i renounce to all those spirits you have to and it says I have been crucified with you and the life that I now live, I live by faith in you. That's Galatians 2.20. I will resist the devil by being firm in that faith. Why? Because he is the rock. And our faith is standing in that rock and it's him and him alone. And he says, thank you for being a shield unto me. What is he to him to us? is a shield is a shield of faith he protects us he covered us he says i put my trust in you choosing to walk by faith not by sight or circumstances i will speak word i will speak words of faith and i will ask in faith without doubting how do we need to ask in faith without doubt in our mind why because he will do what his promises. His promises are truth. He will follow his promises and he will see, do it in our lives. He's a faithful God. He doesn't lie. He's not a man to lie. He said, your word is your power. Thank you, Father, that you are alert and active, watching over your word to perform it. Another, another verse. It protects me from the evil one because it is written, the devil runs in terror from me because I draw near unto you and resist him in Jesus' name by lifting up, lifting up the shield of faith, which is anointed, which is anointed with the oil of your Holy Spirit. This is beautiful. And some of the descriptions that affirms this verse that I have here is Proverbs 35, Jeremiah 1, 12, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, Galatians 2, 20, Ephesians 6, 16, Colossians 10, 1, 10 and 11, Hebrews 10, 22 and 11, 1, James 1, 6 and 4, 7, 1 Peter 1, 5 and 5, 9, 1 John 5, 10, those are some of the scriptures that are in accordance to what I'm, I was speaking today, which is the shield of faith. So we need to really put on the shield of faith. We cannot be playing with the devil. We are being really attacked, many of us. And we need to make sure 
We need to make sure that we are totally sealed and covered and we look for the Lord. We seek his face. We seek his presence. We have communion with him. We have unity with him. We have intimacy with him. It is necessary for us to do that. We cannot know people. We cannot know others if we don't have a relationship. Our first relationship is vertical. And once that, that relationship is developed, then we get the horizontal relationship with the rest of the people. And we will be able to help others. We will be able to help them, edify them, bring them words. Why? Because we have our relationship with him done already. So anything that comes this way, we'll be able to handle it because we already have it with him. And he's precious, he's precious. He's such a good father. And he loves us so much. So I ask you, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, I ask you that you surrender your life to him completely today. Say, Lord Jesus, today I surrender my life. I ask you for forgiveness, Lord, for every sin that I have committed, sins of omission and commission, sins that I have committed with my heart, with my eyes, with my ear, with my tongue, with my body language. Lord, forgive me from the bottom of my heart. Bring true repentance into him. Repent with all your heart. Come to the feet of the cross and surrender all to him. Every time that I fail you, Lord, I, f I ask you for forgiveness. Forgive me, Lord, for failing you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I ask you that you are root out of my life every root of iniquity. I renounce to every root of iniquity that run from generations, every ancestral generational curse and roots of iniquities in my life. I renounce to that in the name of Jesus. I cut them from the root today in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that you died in the cross for me and you came back to life on the third day and you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. Today I surrender my life completely into your arms. Lord, I renounce and I break every covenant with the world, with my flesh, with Satan, with every word that had come out of my lips that had kept me in chains. I break those covenants in the name of Jesus and I open a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Take my heart. I want to surrender completely to you this day, Lord. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the sacrifice of the cross. And I know that I know that I know that when I open up my eyes, the day that I die, I will be in your arms. In Jesus' name I pray. Surrender, 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 surrender. Even if you are a Christian, sometimes we need to re- do this prayer again and surrender our life one more time to him. There's nothing wrong with that. On the contrary, we let it go and we allow him to come again and, and do whatever he needs to do. And I bless you this morning. I glorify his holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let the blessings of the Lord overflow you this day. Walk in the path that he has in front of you, ahead of you. And that is a path of righteousness. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Blessings.